learn how to do is install a 15 year security certificate using the free tools from Cloudflare. So first you need a Cloudflare account and if you don't have one they're free and you can find plenty of other videos that show you how to establish a DNS connection. So just look up DNS Connect my Cloudflare account to my website. We're dealing with WordPress here which is I guess the most popular system on the market at this time and has been for a number of years. Our hosting platform is a cPanel which is part of the WHM system and we'll be doing this on our staging website so none of the SSL certificate information will be compromised because we'll be taking it down as soon as we're done with this video and re-establishing it. For now what we have is a flexible SSL and this can be turned on with really very little to no effort. Uh, you usually have to wait about mm, four or five hours after you set up your DNS system through Cloudflare to use this. But it has its shortcomings. And at the same time, in our cPanel, we are currently using a self-signed certificate. And here is where you can do it under your SSL TLS status. And any time that you want to search something in cPanel, just click the top and then look for SSL and everything that has SSL in it comes up here. So right now we're in the SSL TLS area and that's where we'll be installing the system at. So first what we have to do is come over to our Cloudflare system and you can ignore this for now. Come down under the SSL TLS over here and click origin server. We're just going to leave everything here defaulted and create a certificate. We're going to use the standard so you don't need to change anything. And we're going to accept the 15 year certificate. Now if you don't have your website address you can pull it down from this drop down box if it's first time use. So here we go. It only takes a second. Here's our code. And the first thing we want to do is click and copy the origin certificate. Now in our cPanel after we click remember the SSL TLS leave everything to the left alone use the systems default and come down here and say manage SSL sites. You can see that we have a problem here because it's going to expire and not all the DNS records are pointed to the cPanel, etc., since this is only a demo. What you basically need are these two, the with and without www. Now, if you're going to use mail or webmail and you want it secure, you have to have your uh, DNS pointed to that as well. So anyway, here is your CRT, your certificate that we just got. We select the domain. We're going to right-click and paste. You can paste or paste and match style, it doesn't matter. We have that installed. Now we're going to go back over to Cloudflare and we're going to come down and copy our private key. Right here it is. Copy. cPanel. Private key. Paste. That's all there is to that part. Down here, this is the Certificate Authority Bundle. You don't need to do that. It tells you in most cases you don't need to supply this because the server is going to fetch this from the repository automatically. We next click Install Certificate. Come up with your, click OK and your green checkbox. Say OK. It refreshes and it shows you now everything is secure. And you'll notice your certificate expires now in 2037. So you don't have to mess with this for 15 years. That's pretty much all you have to do in the cPanel but we have to go back to our Cloudflare system, go to our SSL TLS, and what we're going to do now is you can select full or full strict. You'll notice full puts a green checkbox between the Cloudflare emblem and our origin server. If you go full strict, it's going to secure the server as well, which is the best of all worlds, and that's what we're going to do. So, okay, you don't have to click OK or Done or anything. There are other settings in here that you can check. You can check the SSL TLS recommender, but you really don't need to. 
But the next step is to come to your website. And first, we want to make sure everything is working. And it looks like it is. It's just our demo site. But if you want to make it really secure, you go to Plugins, Add New. So that's Plugins, Add New. Search SSL, and you'll bring up your really simple SSL. You'll see there's over 5 million installs, 8,112 people have, have given it a five-star rating. It's been around a long time. It doesn't conflict with other plugins. I guess it's the top of the market. Now, I've already installed this. So what we do here is all we have to do is hit activate. That can take a minute. All right. SSL, really simple SSL is activated. But you might want to go to your settings and let it run through a quick scan. Now, what they're going to try and do here is upsell you on the pro version. But you really, really don't need it unless, you know, if you're, if you're actually taking credit card information over uh, your own website instead of running it through a PayPal or uh, some other type of system. You can do that. Now there's there's one warning here. It gives you the fix option. And that was this disable enumeration. Turn it on. You can turn all these on. And these are the things they want you to pay for. So hit save and continue. And save and continue. And save. And give your website one last check and everything is good. That is all there is to it. I'm sure if you do a Google search, if you have any other problems, or if you want to drop them into the comment of the video below, I'll try and answer those questions for you. Thanks a lot.